and then we start the show off by smacking each other in the face with a pie. Mm. Pies, yeah. again, I feel like we do that all the time. Oh. I think, I think we can come up with something a little more creative. Yeah, okay, I agree. Yeah. Um, oh, what about this? We start the show off on a boat. Mm. A shrimp boat. Ooh, 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 I like it. And, and then, ooh, and then a big storm comes up. Oh, yes, and the storm pushes us to an ice world. Ooh, where, where there's a water horse. Oh, and singing ice sculptures. Yeah, yeah, and then the storm pushes us all the way to South America. Where we meet a house that's alive. Ooh, and you can play the piano on its floorboards. Yeah, and there's a cave there yeah. with a treasure inside. But a boulder starts to chase us oh, and we no. have to jump out of the cave oh, yeah. into the water. Yeah, but this time instead of the boat, we climb into a seaplane. Yeah, but we meet a big giant snake who's really friendly and the snake's name is Reggie. Ah, yeah, and the plane is pulling an enormous banner oh. that says, Welcome to, to the So-and-So so Show! Oh, that is brilliant! I know! Can we afford it? Let's ask the accountant. No. Oh well. Yeah. That works. I'm John. I'm Brandon, and welcome, welcome to, to the So and So Show! Oh, oh, I wonder if that's uh, the delivery. A delivery? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Woo! It arrived early, man. What, what is it? No, it's 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 some new shells from Idea. Oh. Yeah, yeah, here, okay. help me out, help me get them. Yeah, hold yeah, on yeah. a second, let me make some room. All right. Oh yeah, oh great, great idea, thank you. All right, here we go. All right, here we go. Whoa, that's big. It is big, yeah, they're gonna be great. All right, oh, this is heavy. All right, oh okay. man. It's okay, we got it, we got it. We're strong. Yeah. Okay, can you lift it a little higher? I gotta get under it. That's it, that's all I got. <laughs> okay, can you get it? Uh-huh, oh, 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 all right, all right, let's set it down. Okay. Right. Woo! Okay, hopefully that was the hard part. Usually these things are pretty easy to put yeah, together. What are these shelves for? Well, we got so much stuff around here, I just thought uh, we could use a little organization. <laughs> you felt like we needed to be more organized? <laughs> what, is there a rule that says I can't be ridiculous and organized? I, no, I like it, let's okay, do it. Okay, great. Right. Here we go, come on. There we go. Here. Right. <laughs> okay. Oh, wow, okay. Okay. Uh, here, hold your hands out, here. Hold my hands up? Yeah, yeah, here. What are you doing? Nothing, I'm just I'm taking the pieces out. All right, isn't there like an order you're supposed to do this in? What do the instructions say? Uh, I don't see any instructions. What? There's really no instructions? Well, I, I guess they forgot. I guess they forgot to put them in, man! Oh. But no worries, you and I are two creative people, right? Yeah, well I wouldn't say woodworking is And we both have God-given talents and gifts. Hey, you're right. Yeah. We have a problem. No instructions! And we're gonna use our creativity to figure it out! Yes we are! Cue, Cue the, the building, building montage! montage. built it. We certainly built something. We solved one problem. And created another. Well, should we see what Kellen has to say? I think so. 
It's Bible, Bible story, story Time with Kellen! Hey guys, just let me say, that took some special skills to do what you two have done today. Thanks. And it's gonna take even more to get us out of here. <laughs> you know, this kind of reminds me of today's story. Is it about someone in the Bible who was trapped in a box? No, but it is about someone who used their creativity to solve a big problem. Oh, I like the sound of that. And can I use your help to tell it? Well, I mean, what else are we gonna do? <laughs> Great, it's time for Human Head Puppet Theater. Today's story is about Joseph, someone who had an incredibly interesting life and you can read all about his story in the book of Genesis. But very quickly, Joseph was one of 12 brothers, and he, he was special. God gave Joseph the ability to remember and understand dreams. Now, because of that, Joseph's brothers were jealous of him, so much so that they sold him into slavery in Egypt. After that, Joseph was thrown into prison, and while he was in prison, Joseph interpreted the dreams of two Egyptian king's servants, the baker and the wine taster. And that's where today's story begins. The Egyptian king, or Pharaoh, was sleeping one night, and he had a pretty interesting dream. Oh, oh look, <laughs> those seven healthy cows. <laughs> they look so happy. <laughs> But then, seven other cows showed up. Oh, look! <laughs> Ew. They were skinny and ugly. Hey! That's what it says. It also says that the skinny cows devoured the larger, healthier cows. Get in my belly! Come back here, you healthy cows! Then Pharaoh woke up. Ah! 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 Oh, what a nightmare! <laughs> no more chili before bed! <laughs> I hope I'm still so sleepy. <laughs> but I don't want to fall back to sleep. Then he had another dream where seven healthy stalks of grain were consumed by seven dried up stalks of grain. This, of course, upset the Pharaoh. So the next morning, he asked all of his advisors all about his dreams. And then the dried up grain swallowed up the healthy grain. Well, what does it mean? I, I mean, I, I'm, I'm just the wine taster. <laughs> Did you have chili before bed? I, isn't there anyone in my kingdom who can tell me what my dreams mean? Uh, uh, I, I, wait. Do you, do you remember the time that you had me thrown into prison a couple of years ago? Yes. Of course, of course you do. Well, when I was there, I met a man who told me what my dreams meant. His name was J J J J J Jonathan. No, J J J J Jamish. No, J J J J Joseph. His name was Joseph. Bring him to me! Yes! Right! <sighs> right! Yeah. I mean, you don't have to make fun of me, I could- Go once! So Joseph was cleaned up and brought out of prison to see Pharaoh. You wanted to see me, Pharaoh? Yes, I hear you can tell people what their dreams mean. Can you interpret mine? I can't do it. But God can tell Pharaoh what his dream meant. Pharaoh then recounted his dreams to Joseph. He told him about the seven healthy cows that were eaten up by the seven ugly and skinny cows. And then he told him about the seven heads of grain that were swallowed up by the dried grain. Joseph thought about the dreams, then said, both dreams have the same meaning. God has shown Pharaoh what's about to happen. There will be seven years with plenty of food. What? 
That's amazing. That's wonderful. That's <laughs> After that, <laughs> there will be seven years of famine. There won't be enough food. It will be so bad, everyone will forget about the seven good years. Oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no! Give it to me straight, what do we need to do? Pick someone wise and put them in charge. Have them take a fifth of the harvest every year during the seven years of plenty. That way, when the famine hits the country, it won't be destroyed because it doesn't have enough food. I see. We will do what you say because the spirit of God is obviously with you. Oh, and BT Dubs, you're in charge because God has made all this known to you. Huzzah! <laughs> so Joseph was put in charge of Egypt and he put his plan into action. They saved food for seven years and when the famine hit, they had food to share, not just with the people of Egypt, but with people from all over. God had given Joseph an amazing gift, the gift to interpret dreams. And Joseph chose to use his gift to help solve a huge problem in Egypt. The end. Wow. Yeah. Joseph used what God gave him to solve an entire nation's problems. I wonder if our creativity will ever be used for something that big. Yeah. Yeah. You never know. God gave us all certain gifts and talents for a reason. And it sure would be a shame if we didn't use them. Well, I think my work here is done. Until next time. Thanks for the story, Kellen. Yeah, thanks. So, we're still in a box. Yeah. Reveal the question! Oh, okay. How have you seen someone solve a problem? Oh, when I was a kid, I got caught out in the rain and a friend of mine made me an umbrella out of an old kite. What? Mm -hmm. Oh, wow. Oh, once I saw a guy defuse a bomb using a paper clip and a tube of toothpaste. Was it MacGyver? Yes. Mm. God has given us all different gifts. We should look for ways to use them. Y yeah, like to get out of this thing. Exactly. <laughs> whoa, whoa. Okay, we'll see you guys next week for a brand new show. Bye. What did you get there? Wait, 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 wait. wait. What? Wait, wait, we need our safety. Wait! What? We need our safety goggles. Sa oh, you're right. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, there you go. Oh, thank you. All right. All right. All right, I'm a little hungry. Oh, yeah. Sorry. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, that's great. Oh, oh, thank you very much. Yeah, yeah. Woo, that's good. All right, let's get out of this thing. All right, wait, wait, wait. Wait, what? wait. You need any uh, butter or anything like that? Oh, yeah, do you mind? No, 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 yeah, it's in the basement. Okay. All right. We're in the basement. No, below. Oh, the oh, the box's basement. Yeah. How long do you have to hold this? I don't know, they have a shot yet. I don't know. Did he say cut? I don't know. Did he say cut? I'm drilling on myself. You're drilling? Yeah. Uh, I'm trying to light it up. I can't <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. Okay. Still going? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm going crazy. I'm going crazy.